Holy cow, they look good. Oh yeah. No, they look pretty good. The yeah. LEDs, yeah, that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, uh, that is awesome. So since when did you have a check engine? Uh, two days, right? Two days? Yeah. Yeah, no, it seems it, it's it runs good and stuff, yeah, you know, so yeah. it's not like a misfire or anything. So well, I'm gonna here, I'm gonna well, we're gonna go get it? the part first. Yeah, I drive it because I don't know the thing. Really okay, yeah, I'll drive it. So we're gonna go get the part first uh, before any, you know, store closes and stuff. Because I've had that issue before, you know, the code was P0013, which is the exhaust actuator. There's like, uh, there's two of them actually on the top of the engine and one of them goes bad. And yeah, you have like a hundred, uh, almost 174,000 miles, which is a lot. You probably never changed those before, mm -hmm. you know, so, but let's get the part. I'm gonna do quick, like diagnostics on it, you know, see if the wiring to the computer is No, it drives just fine. You know, you don't really notice any differences, you know, even with check engine light. So it's pretty good. It's crazy. I, I still can't believe you have the tinted uh, windshield there. Yeah. <laughs> How is it at night? Is it like too dark or no? Not, it's I can't still good. Nice. Nice LEDs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, can't really see from here that well. Yeah. But you've never changed it before, right? You never did. Probably we need to change. Yeah, the actuator is actually under this cover, so yeah. we'll take this off later and then uh, do it. And then, uh, let's see. Alright, so, ignition on. Let's see what we have. Yeah, that's the code. Thirteen. Yeah, P zero zero thirteen. Yeah, they're both P zero zero thirteen. Control arm? No, 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 no. I went to brakes. Uh, oh, air filter. I had my um. They sent me a a letter saying that I need oh. an emission. Yeah, that so you went to do emissions. Yeah. So it was yeah. right before the check yeah, engine, right? right oh damn, you're lucky, like huh? Ago, damn, that's that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, like a, like a week ago. Yeah. So lucky. Man. So lucky, I should say. Right, this has to come off. I actually love this type of weather. It's nice. It's not that cold. Yeah, it's pretty good. Doing everything with one hand. <laughs> All right, so here's these two guys, and then uh, this is the intake solenoid. This is the exhaust one. So it would be a good idea to blow all this junk out. And then. Uh, yeah, can do them at the same time. It would be do. Take the bolt out with a ten millimeter. Let's actually put this just in case. I don't 
of this junk is yeah, it looks like it's junk from oil one dead This is a torqued German spec. Do not over tighten this, you're gonna break this bolt. You'll have some fun. Alright, the final thing is just connecting this back. Alright, and then uh, putting this lock back on. Alright, that's all. So, and then uh, I'm actually gonna uh, put this uh, engine cover back on for a little bit all right yeah open that up and then I'm gonna let it run for a little and then I'm gonna actually take it back off I, I don't want to run it with uh, without the engine cover because there's a mass airflow sensor in here and everything so yeah Alright, we're gonna let it run. I did, I'm not gonna connect everything and tighten everything yet. I wanna see how the car runs and make sure there's no oil leaks and also have to clear the check engine light. Alright, I'm gonna reconnect the scanner again. Alright, I cleared the codes. It's just gonna double check once again. There's one more code. I'm gonna clear that. It looks like my scanner doesn't want to erase. Sometimes it glitches, doesn't want to erase everything. Okay. Alright. Now I have to wait for it, maybe like five minutes, and then shut it off. I have to pull this back off, double check stuff, and put everything back. That's all. The old one. All right, check engine light, uh, light is actually gone. I didn't re actually erase it. I tried using my scanner, but didn't want to erase it, so I was gonna use the other one. But then uh, I started. I came back here, and the check engine light is gone after I replaced that uh, actuator. So. The good news is that the uh, check engine light went off by itself. Oh yeah? Yeah. So I don't even have to erase anything. Okay, so I'm gonna shut this off and then... Uh... And then I'm gonna pull this back off, make sure there's no, no oil leaks or just in case or something. Pull this off like that. There you go. All right, how's oh, she looking? Yeah, she's looking pretty good and dry. I'll send it to you. It's called a VVT solenoid or. Uh, uh, for in this case, you're gonna need the intake VVT solenoid or intake uh, camshaft actuator. Yeah, I'll send you the name and stuff. So it would be a good idea to clean your uh, throttle body too. It's pretty yucky. All right, she looks good. Damn. All right, guys. My friend uh, Rodrigo fixing his car and pretty much about done. You know, he's he's happy. You know, the car is happy. You know, we got it fixed and stuff. It was a simple fix, just a, a VVT solenoid that needed to be replaced on this Chevy. It's got 170 something, 74 miles. 
K miles, which is a lot for this car, which is awesome. It's a four cylinder, it's actually an Opel engine. So, anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and keep watching my videos. See ya! Yeah, there's a really good China buffet over there. I think they just opened up like recently because I've never seen it over there before, but yeah. Yeah, I think when you when you fix your uh, when you get those new wheels, then you can just like put the new uh, tire sensor on yeah, instead of fixing that light right now. I mean, yeah. it's just yeah, because I don't I don't like I don't like that. Yeah, if I had if I had the tire machine, I'd just do it right now. You know, yeah. But you need a tire machine to uh, you know pop the tire and stuff. Yeah. Rabbit food, bro. All right, so we fixed his car. And he's just uh, gonna drive back home right now. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is uh, has a pretty sweet exhaust.